Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Premature. This is a 2014 movie, 2014, kind of old. It is rated R, it runs an hour and a half, and it stars John Karna, Caroline Trawick, and Kate Neeland. The description, a high school senior has to relive losing his virginity over and over again until he gets it right with the right girl. This is premature. Well, uh, confession time. Uh, when I was doing research for movies for this month to watch, um, I did come up upon a movie that was supposed to be out in theaters, um, like in the new year of 2020 here, called Premature. And since the theaters are closed, I had to go to other outlets to try and find these new movies, you know, that I can still watch. That's why I'm doing so many movie reviews. And I went on to one of my platforms uh, to watch movies and found a movie called Premature. And I watched it last night. And it did not dawn on me that I might have the wrong movie. So there is a movie out there in the world somewhere called Premature that is a 2019 film that I was supposed to watch last night but I watched this instead with the same title so how was I supposed to know but uh I did watch this and so we'll just say that it was a recommended movie because it's the same movie title so I'm gonna do this review and um honestly I'm doing it because it was such a good movie Excuse me. And, uh, I don't know. I just, you know, sometimes we need a funny movie like this. And I'm guessing that not a lot of people have seen this, even though it's a little bit older. Because I haven't heard of it. I haven't seen it. And, um, when we have to deal with these movies that are taking the idea away from Groundhog's Day, then... You know, we kind of have to watch them, you know, because um, how many movies have we had now in the last even four or five years? This is, you know, six years ago that have taken that idea of the repeating day. You know, we've had Happy Death Day. We've had, you know, other movies like that. So um, if you feel like leaving a comment, you know, let me know about more movies like this because I know there are more out there. But uh, I'm thinking Groundhog Day is one of the most you know, substantially influencing influencing movies of our time because people keep making movies like this with the recurring day idea. So I think it's really, you know, intriguing every time. You know, I mean, I took a while to watch Happy Death Day 1 and 2, but uh, I watched them, and this came up out of the blue for me to watch, and I watched it, and I liked it, so... I just think it's intriguing when people do this idea of the recurring day. So, as far as this movie goes, um, there's not many weak points because it's just a comedy. It's nothing to take seriously. Um, for, you know, the uncomfortableness factor, I don't think it's... Uh, I think it's on the level of Hot Tub Time Machine. And I have those right up here. And uh, I think that this movie holds its own for being original. People are comparing it... Excuse me. <coughs> We're in one of those times where it's cold one day and it's hot the next, so allergies are afloat. But anyways, uh, a lot of people are comparing this movie to American Pie, which I think is fine, you know, uh, but it's in high school and uh, it's just a one idea movie it's not a whole saga so that's why i don't like comparing it to american pie i'm more like comparing it to hot tub time machine because of just the jokes that are flying the funny situations that people are put into the creativeness of the movie how original you know some of the situations are some of the interactions are everybody that's you know um throwing themselves into a certain situation uh, they just have no idea what's coming and for the viewer 
to have movies even six years old now uh, back in 2014 this would have been a great movie to watch when it came out I just don't know how many people have actually seen it so here six years later I think this is a great movie to watch even now because of how original the jokes are how authentic the interactions are how unique some of the characters are I mean some of these ideas of some of the students and some of the friends and some of the things that happen on a daily basis they're just so funny and uh there's a college admission uh character in here he got my funny bone about five or six times throughout the movie and if i were to rewatch this which hopefully i will and hopefully i'll buy it and own it um that college admissions guy he's gonna just get me every time so uh he's just too funny uh, the parents, you know, really have some funny lines of our main character. Um, everything that happens with them and the mother and the father there. Uh, it's just so funny. So this is completely a movie to um, watch. Obviously, it's available. Um, I'm sure it's available in more than one way. Um, it's just I watched it a certain way, but I'm sure you can find it. Uh, but yeah, even though it's older, um, it's really a good movie. Uh, this is something I do. Um, I do review some older movies. Uh, usually I'll go back to about 2000, but I haven't done many older ones lately because I've had a lot of 2019 and 2020 films to watch. So, But this is one to put on your list, one to uh, watch and seek out. Uh, if you like Hot Tub Time Machine, Bridesmaids, and all those movies, and American Pie, if you like any of those movies, um, this is really a good one for you, and um, it's it's good, you know, for the high school crowd, uh, just to see how crazy things can get, and it's really original idea. I'm going to give an A to this movie, and I really hope that you do are are able to seek it out. So. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. And enjoy your movies. Thanks.